On this one, we have 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus dot, 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 n cubed equals this um, n squared plus m plus 1 squared divided by 4. So we're going to want to prove by induction that this sum formula is going to work. All right. So as we've talked about, there's a couple tests that we need to do. It's pretty much like a um, three-step process we're going to work. First thing is we want to make sure that the sum works for our first term. So I take s of 1. And I'm just going to plug in 1 in for my first term. So I have 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared divided by 4. Well, 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And you can see 1 cubed would be our sum. So the sum for the first term works, right? OK. Then the next thing we do is we just go ahead and rewrite s of k. This is the same thing what we're going to do is we're going to prove that our sum form that works or we're just going to show that if we can prove it for s of k and a k plus 1, then it will work for n. But first, let's show what s of k is going to be. So the sum of k would be 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus dot, 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 k cubed equals the sum of k in k is going to be k squared times k plus 1 squared all over 4. You're just pretty much changing this k. What we're going to do is we're going to use we're going to prove this by using our k. Then, what we're trying to do with induction is we're trying to not just prove that it works for k, but we want to prove that it works for k plus one. So now, we're going to figure out what s of k plus one is. Well, that's one cubed plus two cubed plus three cubed plus four cubed plus dot 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 dot. And then k plus 1, which would be the next term cubed, equals k plus 1 squared times k plus 1 plus 1 squared all over 4. So. so what we're trying to prove again with induction is we need to prove that s of k plus a of k plus 1 equals s of k plus 1. So we want to prove that the sum of s of k, or this s of k, plus a of k plus 1 equals this. So let's write it out. So we have s of k, which is k squared times k plus 1 squared over 4, plus a of k plus 1, which is k plus 1 cubed, has to equal this, which is k plus 1 squared times, I'll simplify that to k plus 2 squared all over 4. All right. So, <laughs> Um, well, before I can distribute the k, one thing I can do is um, let's get these to be over their same. So if I multiply this by um, 4 over 4, now I can combine them, right? Um, so let's rewrite that as 4 over 4. And uh, oh, and what you guys see I can do now is here. You can see these have common terms of k plus 1, right? Because I really don't want to multiply this out. k plus 1 cubed, that's just not going to be fun. And then multiplying this and then distributing k squared, it's just not going to be fun, right? So let's try to factor out what do they have in common. They have a k plus 1 squared in common, right? Yes? Yeah. OK. So if I factor out a k plus 1, If I factor out a k plus 1 squared, that's going to leave me with plus a k squared. I'm sorry. Times um, k squared plus 4 times k plus 1. Um, times of 4k times uh, 4k plus 1. 
Would everybody agree with that right there? Yeah. Yes, Lauren? OK. Does everybody agree with what I did? And everybody see with what I did? I just factored out a k plus 1. But there's, this is k plus 1 cubed. So there's still going to be a k plus 1 there, right? So now I can distribute this. If I distribute this to 4k and 4, then I have a trinomial that looks like this. k squared plus 4k plus 4, right? When I, mult when I simplify that out, and then I look at this, and I say, how, can I factor k squared plus 4k plus 4? k plus 2 squared. Huh, that's kind of what I need, right? So that ends up being k plus 1 squared times k plus 2 squared all over 4, which we have is right over there. I know my handwriting's a little sloppy. Sorry about that. But you guys can see now that I proved that s of k plus a k plus 1 equals s of k plus 1. So therefore, this sum formula works that we've just proved by induction. Fun. Now you have proven that every